During her busy acting career, Sarah Gilbert managed to graduate from Yale, create a talk show, write a book, raise three kids, reboot Roseanne, and become a powerhouse producer. Here's how she did it. Sarah Gilbert found her passion for comedy in an elementary school play. She played Toto, Dorothy's dog, in The Wizard of Oz and discovered room for improvisation in her role. In an interview with Deadline, she recalled, I decided to start barking at random times during the play, and every time I would bark, people would laugh. That was me figuring out that I could do comedy. When both her parents and siblings, Melissa and Jonathan Gilbert, who were child actors on Little House on the Prairie, received gifts from the studios at Christmas time, young Gilbert felt left out. As she put it, I was really jealous, so I wanted in on that. I also just had this overwhelming sense that I was supposed to be an actor, like I just knew it. And it didn't take long. In 1982, at just seven years old, she starred in an episode of Disney's Tales of the Apple Dumpling Gang. Gilbert got her big break in Roseanne, and she knew exactly how to play the sassy middle child Darlene, who used her sarcastic wit to challenge and provoke her family. When the show, which followed the working-class Connor family, premiered in 1988, Gilbert was 13, the same age as her character. Speaking with Entertainment Weekly, she remembered, "...the role came naturally to me. There was a lot of crossover between me and Darlene." Listen, if this Barry guy tries to hold you too close, just tell him you gotta throw up. Oh, I thought I'd save that for when he wants to have sex. Gilbert was happy to be on set, too. School was hard, and her work on Roseanne was a far more stimulating place for her. She explained, "...anything that put me in a more creative environment was a plus." Gilbert's performance contributed significantly to the success and impact of Roseanne. The show had an outstanding viewership, and being a central character in such a successful series offered Gilbert widespread exposure. She played Darlene Connor for the entire run of the show, all nine seasons, which allowed her to develop as an actress and solidify her place in the industry. Johnny Galecki of The Big Bang Theory fame played David Healy, Darlene Connor's teenage flame. What are you doing upstairs with some boy? Well, no one was home, so I figured why not become a woman? Then, Galecki and Gilbert started dating in real life, but after hooking up, Gilbert was confused. On the talk, Gilbert shared, I thought he was super cute and had a total crush on him. We started dating and he would come over and we would make out, and then I would start to get depressed. She knew she wasn't experiencing all the excitement a love-struck teen should be feeling, and suspected it had to do with her sexuality. When she told him, he was cool about it, but Gilbert decided to keep her sexuality private for fear of judgment. She explained, "...no one knew at the show for years, and Johnny held the secret the whole time. And I always felt so scared. If it came out, what could happen? Could I lose my career? Will I ever be able to play a straight role again?" But all was not lost for the young teen. In 1992, she starred in the erotic thriller Poison Ivy alongside Drew Barrymore. Perhaps it was the risque nature of the film that got the amorous vibes going, but the two couldn't resist each other. But Ivy didn't just want a friend. Ivy wanted more. When Gilbert guested on the Drew Barrymore show, Barrymore recalled, "...we were supposed to kiss in the movie and then we started practicing in the trailer, which was kind of fun." During a segment of the show called Drew or False, Gilbert was asked to reveal which of the three facts about herself on the screen were true. She admitted, "...the true one is C. My first girl kiss was with Drew, and now I'm not one to kiss and tell, but I have to say, look, now I'm going to blush. Drew was the coolest person I ever met, and yeah, that's what happened." You are just the best girl kiss a girl could ever ask for, and I miss <laughs> you dearly." The two joked they were kissing for research so they'd look good on screen, but the chemistry was definitely still there. Gilbert's 20s were stellar. She continued to appear in Roseanne. She starred in two iconic films and graduated from Yale with honors in art. The producers of Roseanne supported Gilbert's desire to go to college. They traveled from Los Angeles to New York to film scenes with her, a big commitment for any show. Gilbert appreciated the effort, telling the Los Angeles Times, "...just from a logistics standpoint, I was surprised. I'm really flattered and sort of relieved that I'll have the opportunity to do both things." In 1999, British director Stephen Frears handpicked Gilbert to star in High Fidelity alongside John Cusack. She was floored, recalling to Entertainment Weekly, "...it was so bizarre that this huge director wanted to cast me. He had no idea what Roseanne was or didn't recognize me from that at all. I remember being excited that someone liked something else that I did." The following year, Gilbert was cast in Riding in Cars with Boys, reuniting with Drew Barrymore. In 2001, Gilbert fell head over heels for TV producer Ali Adler. Adler is known for her work on Family Guy, Supergirl, Glee, and Just Shoot Me. 
The couple were together for 10 years, during which time they had two children. Adler gave birth to their son Levi Hank in 2004, and Gilbert gave birth to their daughter Sawyer in 2007. After 10 years together, the couple split. Although the separation was said to be amicable, it's been reported that Adler was upset when photos surfaced of Gilbert holding hands with rocker Linda Perry a few months after the breakup. That same year, Gilbert opened up about her relationship with Adler, saying, I wouldn't trade that time, it's such a special time in my life. But then you see people in their 70s and you wonder, how do they do it? How do they make it last? And I would like to think that I can. I will say that we have beautiful children together, a lot of love for each other. Gilbert and Adler share custody of their children. Gilbert's daytime talk show, The Talk, had always been a place where she would speak candidly about her personal life. It's where she first publicly shared her painful breakup with Adler, it was the first place she spoke about her new relationship with Linda Perry, and it was on the show where she announced that she was pregnant with her third child. In 2010, while on a press tour for the show, she revealed what Entertainment Weekly called an open secret, that she's gay. Gilbert was asked if she thought it'd be easier to be out in a talk show forum rather than as a character on a scripted show. She replied, I plan to put my heart and soul into this show, and I plan to continue acting, and I don't think being out will be a problem. I am who I am, and when topics come up that are appropriate, I'll talk about them and share when it seems right. Gilbert isn't outgoing or gregarious. In other words, she's not the first person you'd think of hosting a daytime talk show. I don't really like talking, is the truth. But it was joining a mom's group after her daughter Sawyer was born that inspired the idea of the talk, because the group was so helpful. She didn't think her idea, a mom's view on current events, pop culture, family, and celebrities, would be accepted by CBS. But when it was, Gilbert had to get comfortable with the biggest role of her career as herself. She did, and it paid off. Gilbert won an Emmy for her efforts. The show beat its competitors in the ratings, and Gilbert stayed on for nine good years. In 2019, Gilbert left the talk in the capable hands of her co-hosts. She posted a note of thanks on X, saying, Thank you to my family at the talk for years of love and laughter, and special thanks to our audience for keeping our conversation going. At her on-screen farewell, her daughter surprised her with a song, saying, She thinks we're playing shallow, but I didn't think that was special enough, so I wrote you a song. Over the years, Gilbert has been involved in causes related to environmental issues, LGBTQ plus rights, and animal welfare. She's expressed her views on these topics through public appearances, interviews, and social media, and in 2013, she published a book. The Imperfect Environmentalist, a practical guide to clearing your body, detoxing your home, and saving the earth without losing your mind, was Gilbert's attempt to inspire people to make small changes in their lives, which would have a big impact difference. In an interview with USA Today, she explained, It's not that big of a deal to switch to eco-friendly makeup or glass containers to store food. Gilbert said the most shocking information she learned during her research was that children are going through puberty five years earlier than they did a hundred years ago because of hormone disruptions in our environment. She added, That's why it's important to buy organic. Gilbert was an environmentalist as a teen, but she said she lost sight of it as her career took off. Being a mom made her aware of the issues again, and she wanted to do her bit to leave behind a better world for her children. In 2011, shortly after her breakup with Ali Adler, Gilbert started dating Linda Perry. Perry is a musician, songwriter, and producer known for her work as the lead singer of Four Non Blondes, who's written hit songs for Miley Cyrus, Alicia Keys, and Ariana Grande. The couple got engaged in 2013 when Perry made a romantic gesture. Sharing the story on the talk, Gilbert said, She goes to her backpack and she pulls out these t-shirts, and the first t-shirt says, Will, and then puts on another t-shirt and it says, You, then Mary, Me. It was the most amazing proposal ever. And of course, there had to be music. Perry hired the people picnicking beside them to play Love Song on string instruments. The couple tied the knot in 2014, and since then they've faced both challenges and joys together. Their son, Rhodes Emilio Gilbert Perry, was born in 2015. Both Gilbert and Perry occasionally shared glimpses of their personal life on their social media accounts, but sometimes good things come to an end. Gilbert filed for divorce in 2019. In an interview with Page Six, Perry said, I'm still on an incredible adventure with Sarah. I love her. I adore her. We have a beautiful child together, so that journey's not ended, it's evolved into something else. Decades into her successful career, Gilbert did the impossible. She took the series she first starred in as a teenager and put it forward for a reboot. Twenty years after she first stepped onto the set of Roseanne, she was back as Darlene Connor. Her fellow actors have admitted the success of the reboot was thanks to Gilbert's persistence. Speaking to Variety, she shared, 
I think I didn't feel done with it. I think for all these years, I've thought about it, measured things against it, and I guess I just needed to go back to know what it would feel like to do it now. The reboot was a success, but then Roseanne Barr, who's known to be outspoken on and off screen, made a racist tweet and the show was canceled. I do stand behind the decision that ABC made. Again, it was Gilbert who pulled it from the ashes. She repurposed Roseanne into a spin-off series without the matriarch. In The Connors, Roseanne dies from an accidental opioid overdose. As its star and producer, Gilbert took The Connors to their season finale in 2023 and its renewal for a sixth season in 2024. From debuting in a 90s TV sitcom to launching a talk show and successfully leading a series reboot, it's evident that this Hollywood multi-hyphenate has a nose for rating success. We can't wait to see what the mother of three is working on next.